Hello. Today I thought I'd tell you about something that the library subscribes to on your behalf. It's called Echo Online. It's a fantastic tool that will save you a lot of time, uh, particularly if you're in senior English or if you're doing any sort of public speaking or debating. And it'll also be helpful in a lot of humanities subjects as well. So let's take you there. You find it on our library website. So start with Simon, go to the library resources page, bring you to our website, then click on resources. This is it here, Echo Online. The link below just downloads a PDF that will tell you the username is Avila, the password is Charles. Okay, that'll bring you to the main page here. Uh, I've logged in before, so it should remember me, but I think on this page, this is where you'd put that Avila and Charles. Okay, it looks sort of daggy, but the content is fantastic and it'll save you a lot of time. It's this area here I want to direct you to. This is the important part, media issues analysis. They've done all the work for you. They've found issues and they've done all the background leg work and found all the articles that support the for and the against. So let's go and have a look at the sort of thing they've got. Through the years, they've been doing this every year for secondary school students. Uh, let's go to the most current one. The issues they've been looking at this year, of course, are going to be COVID-19 related. Um, so for instance, should early um, education and childcare Australia be free, in Australia be free? Job seeker, COVID-19, should we be remaining open in schools? Facial recognition, all sorts of things. Let's have a look at this one as an example. Uh, it's about the issue of being vegan and whether that's a healthy thing for us. The first page talks about why it's an issue at the moment. So somebody in the media said something, it's got back into the, the public arena. And then you've got some background information on that tab. It'll tell you about veganism and when it began. And then these two tabs here are the most important. Here, the arguments in favour and the arguments against. Let's go to the arguments in favour. They've found five arguments and they've fleshed them out. They've supported their ideas. They've put these little links in here that will take you directly to the articles they've used to get that content. And they go through each of the five arguments in favor in great detail. Same with the arguments against. They've chosen five, they've supported them, all sorts of um, links to the articles and things that they've used and five, five arguments. And then uh, there's further implications. Uh, and then this tab here, the web links and documents, it's like your bibliography. It outlines all the articles they've used to create this uh, and where they've got them from. And on the right hand side, they've even got video um, information there that they've used, whether it's from the news or, you know, um, different shows like A Current Affair. It's all there, but it's called Echo Online. It's really handy. Hope you make use of it.